The preliminary ruling made today about Owen Paterson is ironic because he, more than almost any other Conservative MP, is responsible for bringing the Conservative Party to its knees, as will be demonstrated tomorrow, I have no doubt. He's a former cabinet minister who was found to have seriously breached parliamentary rules regarding lobbying. He acted as a paid consultant for Randox, a healthcare company, and Lynn's Country Foods, receiving over £100,000 annually from these two companies. And the investigation revealed that Patterson's uh, activities, lobbying government officials repeatedly on behalf of these firms, constitutes, quote, an egregious case of paid advocacy, end quote, according to the Parliamentary Commissioner for Standards, Catherine Stone. Patterson's actions included personally contacting the Health Secretary eight times in 2020 to benefit Randox. And despite his defence that his actions fell under the serious wrong exemption which allows MPs to address substantial injustices, the Standards Committee found his lobbying largely outside this exemption. Consequently, the committee recommended a 30-day suspension, which led to a recall petition and a by-election in his constituency. In response to the suspension recommendation, the Conservative government under Boris Johnson attempted to overhaul the parliamentary misconduct system to protect Patterson, his friend, and that's where it all went really wrong. Boris Johnson demonstrated that he had contempt for the parliamentary system. Well, I mean, we might have known because of the way that he treated the Queen, but Tory MPs were instructed to vote for an amendment by Andrea Leadsom, that uh, doyen of parliamentary authority. She herself, who would rather talk down over a constituent than answer any questions, uh, she... Uh, was um, was trying to establish a new Conservative-led committee to re reconsider Patterson's case and review the standard system. This move passed with 250 votes to 232, despite internal dissent and opposition backlash. So in other words, Boris, Andrea Leadsom and Patterson were all in it together in the filth. And none of them, of course, deserve to be in public office again. That's the point. And I think it's really good to have this event articulated in the news today because it, it, it demonstrates why people are so angry. It's, you, you know, um, this man acted as a lobbyist without being registered to do so. That's what the investigation today has concluded. And the lobbying regulator has made a preliminary ruling uh, that this man, who was, paid a con who was a paid consultant for a healthcare company, for two healthcare companies, should have been registered as a lobbyist. He broke the rules, and then Boris and Andrea Leadsom tried to break the rules in order to protect him. And he faced suspension from the Commons, and in 2021, the Commons Standards Committee concluded that he had misused his position as an MP to benefit these firms that he worked for. I mean, he, the, he, he sums up the sleaze that we are voting against tomorrow. And Boris and Andrea Leadsom Andrea Leadsom was my local MP at one point, and I have nothing but contempt for her. In fact, I remember um, sort of being, being poised to be on a hustings with her, and I was really looking forward to it. And then I found myself in a position where I had to resign and call out racism uh, in UKIP, and I thought that was a much more important job than having the personal pleasure of ridiculing Andrea Leadsom uh, um, to her face. But, you know, that is what is necessary. And 
um, at, at the time, it fell to Jacob Rees-Mogg to do a U-turn um, and uh, to allow a fresh vote on Patterson's suspension. And the reversal came after all this significant pressure and the realisation of the political cost of trying to defend Patterson's misconduct. But the biggest players in the in the um, party, in the, in the chamber of the House of Commons, had tried to queer the system to save their friend. Uh, and it's utterly, it's utterly foul. And, and following the government's decision to allow the new vote on the suspension, Patterson resigned as an MP, good riddance. And he claimed the investigation and the handling of the case had damaged his reputation and was unfair. But it's not his reputation which is the problem. What was the problem was that Boris put the reputation of the party and the House of Commons at risk. Boris damaged the um, parliamentary system and he was aided and abetted by Andrea Leadsom. And in fact, uh, Patterson is almost an irrelevance in this story. But, you know, it's uh, the Patterson affair not only highlights the issues of parliamentary standards and lobbying, but also exposes the internal squalor within the Conservative Party and the failure of the Conservative Party to maintain and promote proper ethical governance.